morning. This evening, I've said it many times that I was gonna go to the bike shop and finally I'm gonna go to the bike shop this evening after work because I finish earlier on a Friday. So I'll go there and have a look at the bikes that they have and then make a decision and maybe come back on Saturday. And fingers crossed that means I'll then get my bike this weekend and I can go on a really epic long bike ride because I've not cycled since I fell off my bike on Saturday last week and it's been really horrible because this has probably been the sunniest week in England this whole year and I have not had my bike. Well, I have had a bike, but I haven't been cycling because of my leg. I'm waiting for a new bike because I think part of the reason that it, the accident happened is because my bike is so shit. So I'm very excited and I cannot wait to, I was just chatting to Alex last night about all the adventures that we can go on uh, when we both get bikes and that we can, I really want to go around the coast of Cornwall on um, our bikes and like take a tent and like a backpack and just go around the coast um, like next month or something and have like a little holiday. Uh, I'm just so excited for it because Alex doesn't do a lot of exercise at the minute and I think he needs to do more exercise so I think that will be a really great way of doing it because we both have just such shit bikes and it just doesn't make you want to go outdoors. Yeah, so excited. Alex and I both went to the shop yesterday and I showed you in my haul the two cereals I bought. So I got some Maple Sunrise and I got some chocolate stars. I come home, and what has Alex bought? He has bought maple sunrise and chocolate stars. This is just, I, I feel like nothing has ever happened to us like this. Like literally, that's how much time we spend to, with each other and how similar we are that <laughs> we pick the same cereal. So I just think that's really funny. So what's in this then, Al? Blueberries. Uh, banana, coconut milk, or something. They're not very safe. Yeah, it's coconut, it's coconut milk. It's coconut milk, yeah. And vanilla. I think the name gives it away because it's cocoa. Yummy! Right, I'm going to blend this up and then go to work because, as usual, I'm late. <laughs> I hate him. Taking this suit to work with me, my mum made it last night. What's in it? Uh, coconut milk, uh, tomato. 900 grams of tomatoes, turmeric, ginger, chilies, garlic. Hopefully you can hear that. So it's basically like coconut and tomato and lots of spices. And it looks, it smells amazing. So yeah, I'll have to tell my review later on. Yum. This, that ripe banana is like, this blueberry smoothie normally is like, it tastes like creamy and like a pudding and it's so good. This, cause the bananas, Tastes like shit. Peace, <laughs> Alex. Um, it just tastes weird because I can taste that the bananas aren't right. They taste like green bananas. They weren't even green. They were just like on the verge of spotty, but they weren't like spotty spotty. Um, and even the colour of it, it's not as like creamy looking. It's not as good. I think it's because Alex made it really, let's be honest. Right. Maybe I got the mixture wrong. No, no, it, it's the bananas. I can taste it. It's the flavour of the banana. They're not ripe enough. Oh well. Alex is here. He's picked me up, and we are headed to Saltash, which is a near town, nearby town, to go to the bike shop. Don't know that we're going to go home with a bike but we're definitely gonna check the bikes out and have a browse and you know see what it's all about, which I'm very excited about because it's be more tangible. So yeah, I'll see, we'll um, show you some of the bikes that I'm interested in getting when I get there, if I'm brave enough to vlog, that is. <laughs> I might just vlog the bikes, not vlog anything else, so I'm sure I'll probably give you a, more of a rundown when we've left the bike shop. Okay, so I forgot to take my camera inside, but um, we just went to Satini, the bike shop, and the guy who help was helping us was really, really helpful. And he managed to give us a much clearer idea of the type of thing we were going wanting. He was basically, from hearing the sort of thing we were looking for, he gave us the gist that it would be like an Avail and a Defy would be the kind of thing that we would want because we're looking, as much as like the, the roads, I was concerned about the roads in Cornwall and all of that, if you're looking towards doing more cycling in the future, like getting into it as a sport and wanting to go long distances, then you're going to want, he was like, you know, saying the Avail and the Defy, he was saying that they're more exciting bikes to have and they, you know, more set up for that. And he said, you know, you wouldn't see people who 
um, are looking for that kind of thing coming in and buying say in any road they'd be going in and buying like a Defy or an Avail so we're gonna think about it tonight like I've already made my decision really but Alex wants to sort of do a little bit more Think thinking of it all together and I think we'll get like some shoes and a helmet and come back tomorrow but I'm really excited by that that's been so fun so exciting to yeah. like yeah. sit on them and try them and really get a good opinion he was so so helpful so if you are from Cornwall by any chance and you're looking to go cycling definitely come to Satini in Saltash because or he was Devon, it's right yeah or a De if you live in Devon because it was he was really really helpful they have loads of bikes here and they just they just feel like they've got your best interest in heart they're not like salesmen or anything yeah, they're just helping you out basically to get what you need that's the van i want that yellow one. Oh, is it that's pretty cool <laughs> alex and i would love a van i forgot to say we're going to go to waitrose now because there's a waitrose just here right near and waitrose has loads of fun vegan food so <laughs> yeah, yeah i'll Christmas. take you with us check it out look at this selection vegan are these vegan no no these are Oh my god, why don't they have the salted caramel flavour? They normally have salted caramel. That's also vegan. Yes, that's vegan, that's vegan, that's vegan, that's vegan. Uh -huh. Woohoo! Don't have chocolate, booja booja, what am I gonna do? Ginger and vanilla. Oh. Don't have chocolate. My two favourite flavours they don't have. So they don't have salted caramel of the almond dream and they don't have chocolate of the booja booja. Damn you, waitrose! We're getting this. Look, I've not seen this anywhere. The vegan chicken. Everyone's been oh. going about it. We had to get it. Uh, do they have any other, th other things we've not tried? Got all these Linda McCartney. Linda McCartney is great. She's got so many Mushroom delicious things. Burgers. Ooh. They have the Booja Booja in chocolate in a different section. Woohoo! Yeah. This Booja Booja is like incredible if you've not tried it. It's so good and it's got those four ingredients in it. Focus. Yeah, that's all that's in it is water, agave syrup, cashew nuts, and cacao powder. So it's pretty freaking cool. Um, and we just swapped like the they've got salted caramel. No, we're getting salted caramel. So we chose these ones: the Booja Booja Hunky Punky, the Almond Dream Salted Caramel, and the Frill Frozen Smoothie Intense Chocolate. So we'll try them all tonight. And I know that these two are amazing. If you love any sort of chocolate, salted caramel, they're just so good. Amazing. Look at all this vegan food. Yes. We're back from the bike shop um, and Waitrose, my battery ran out. But I'll show you quickly what we got. I know that I've filmed a lot already today. Oh, there's a hair on the screen. Um, but I'll just show you quickly what we got from Waitrose. So we got these juices. The intention was to drink them on the way home because we were thirsty and we totally forgot about them and put them in the back of the car. We are going to have a movie night this evening. So we've got these sea salt popcorn because um, they're on offer. We got some of this organic Swiss vegetable vegan bouillon powder because I've not seen the organic one before and it was the same price. We got some jerk seasoning, Jamaican jerk seasoning because it just looked delicious and I cannot resist any sort of spicy stuff. Some Trek bars, the banana and the cocoa coconut. An Alpro yogurt, I think Alex picked this up. Um, Proper pickle, some pickle because we've got all that vegan cheese that Alex wants to sort of put in his sandwich so we can have like a pickle and cheese sandwich. That's for next time we have a curry, I wanted to make like a. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. nice. So if we haven't had that in a while. Oh yeah. I've got these. Like I've never had these before, but Alex spotted them. So and we love dates, so that looked yummy. Cranberry and blueberry. We got some olives, and was there anything else that we got that you put away? Oh, um, yeah, and then we got the ice creams that I showed you in the shop and the corn. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have spaghetti bolognese. I bought Alex that mince yesterday. He didn't end up having it for dinner. He had, the, he had some burgers that were in the freezer. So we are gonna have some vegan spag bol and then have a lovely movie night. I'll show you the food, but I might like say goodbye now because I know that today's already been quite a long vlog. So um, cue the yummy clips of spag bowl and I'll see you tomorrow. Say bye. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> bye. I got some frozen
frozen meat-free mince because Alex wanted to have spaghetti this evening and I thought he could add it to make it like a spaghetti bolognese.